Hey guys, I'm Rogan, and this is my blue shirt. Hey guys, welcome to the welcome back to the channel. Um, I'm Rogan, and this is my rant. We believe in the diversity of thought here on this channel. Yeah, yes we do. So today I'm going to be doing something a little different. I'm going to be doing like a throwback type of topic, theme, subject matter video about. Uh, music. Um, I really love music and I have a lot of uh, uh, bands that I listen to and stuff like that and I know a lot of labels and like what bands are on what labels. But today I'm going to be talking about a UK band. Yeah, that's right. Across the pond, across the Atlantic Ocean, hailing all the way from the UK. You asked for it. Rome. Like in capitals. Capital R-O-A-M. Yeah, Rome. So, I don't know if they got inspiration for their band name from the Story So Far song, um, off the Story So Far's first album, but um, I don't know, but it, they, they are a great band, they're in my top 10 all-time favorite bands, and I'm making this video as a history slash tribute slash top 10, because they are breaking up, they're doing some of their last shows right now in Europe, and it's too bad, but I did see them twice, so um, I, there, I have that to say for it. And I brought out, I brought out... Uh, the, my, my records, um, I don't know if you can see it, but like right there, um, one of the band members signed it. All of the band members, they signed it. Um, I caught them at their merch tent at Warp Tour. I think it was like Warp Tour, either 16 or 17, when Warp Tour was still a thing. Mm. Tear on my eye. Um, but yeah, so this is, uh, you know, the, the album, all the lyrics and everything like that. And, uh, yeah, and the other time I saw them, it was, um, it was near Boston, and, and they had, uh, a great show with Like Pacific, Story Untold, and, um, what was the other band? Was, uh, oh, Bearings. Bearings is a very, another good band, and this is, uh, Great he Heights and Nosedives, another really great album, you should check it out. And then their third, LP3, their last album, they didn't make any music after this except some uh, pretty bad um, features and other artists' songs that I don't really like. But, you know, that's that's just the ranting rogue. This is a rant and it's opinionated. So this is Smile Wide. In my opinion, this is their best album, but it's not my favorite. I mean, it's very hard for me to choose what album I like the best. And they're all very good. So um, what I was saying was, like, I'm celebrating them. Um, you know, the band members, you know, Alex Costello, he's lead vocals. Alex Adam, he's lead guitar backing vocals. They did, they do a really good job together harmonizing sometimes. And they, uh, one of their early, uh, Europe, European tours, uh, Alex Costello, he got really sick. So Alex Adam had to fill in for almost everything, all the parts. So that was really cool. And, uh, the other band members are Miles Gill, Sam Venes, I don't know how to pronounce his name that well, and then Matt Roskilly. I forget all of their um, instruments they play, but, um, you know, the two, two other, the rhythm guitarist and the bassist and the drummer. So, that's that. I'm not a complete expert on them, but I know a lot about them, just like I know almost everything there is to know about <laughs> Neck Deep. <laughs> neck Deep in that, well, you know what, you can insert word there. So... Uh, yeah, so, um, their first, their first EP was No Common Ground, it wasn't really released anywhere, but you can find it on YouTube, I recommend getting YouTube Premium and downloading the songs to save offline, um, so six good songs off that EP, View, Viewpoint, no, no, Head, okay, so Head Down was their second EP, I had like five songs on it, and, um, one of the, and so that was really good, and then Viewpoint, Viewpoint was their third EP and had four songs on it. It was really good. And then, like I said, Backbone was their first record. Great Height and Nosedives was their second. And then Smile Wide, I already showed you those. So, that's that. Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. Um, I have a lot of notes here, so this is, like, less of a rant. So, it's, like, not as much. It's a, it's a the ranting, almost rant rogue it today. So, that's that. Talked about that. Two times I saw them. Albums. Yes, okay, so this top 10 list is in no particular order. Um, it's just that all of the songs, mo in my opinion, most of the songs that Rome has made are good to fantastic. And uh, there's just a few stinkers, but you know, I mean, yeah, I mean, not every band can be like brand new where they like they're perfectionists and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, so 
it's no particular order. And uh, yeah, so before we get into the top, the top ten, um, I am going to do some honorable mentions. So the honorable mentions, I put Roman numerals. And the top ten, I did regular numbers, <laughs> if you care. So, um, first honorable mention is a song called Turn. It's the, it's the closing track on their third album, so it's technically the last song they ever made. And um, it was a really good song. It, remind, it, it reminds me of Life's Not Out to Get You, uh, Gold Steps, made by Neck Deep. That, that was the fifth track off of Life's Not Out to Get You, which was uh, Neck Deep's second album that came out in the summer of 15, 2015. So it remind, it's a similar vibe, but it's like softer and it's like a little slower and it's 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 a little corny yes but it has a good message and i think anyone can learn something from it it's a really good song you know it's learning about kind of like picking yourself back up after a setback basically so num second honorable mention is alive you know alive is a great song with great riffs and it just has an amazing opening and it's like so awesome and the music video is really like um old time it can be like all old timey at times and they're having like a dinner and it's like it's like all dead stuff and shit like that. So it's really interesting, um, really good song. And then number three is "I Don't Live Here Anymore," and that's about like kind of like moving out. You don't belong at your old home anymore. Kind of. It's like again, music is very subjective and is open to interpretation. Like how someone can relate to it is what the artist was trying to say, and then like how you relate to it and apply it to like what you think it's about. So um, yeah, "I Don't Live There Anymore" is a very good song. All right. Getting into it, coming in at number number ten. Number ten is a song called "Red and Blue." Now, this song is very good. It's a very good opening. It's a very good song all the way through. It's um, it's basically about kind of like you know, don't believe the mainstream narrative. Kind of like you know, the the trope that's been overdone on the internet in the past few years. Like you know, take the red pill or take the blue pill. You know, uh, like you know, whatever you want to do. Like. Uh, the Matrix and that stuff, that type of stuff. So that you you guys can sound off in the comments what you think about that. I mean, I have a lot to say about that topic, but that is a completely different topic for a, a dedicated video that I'll probably do in the future. Number nine, number nine is coming in. Um, the, the song is called Toy Box. Number ten and nine are off the third out their third album, Smile Wide. And Toy Box is a really cool song because the start of each verse is a line from Toy Story. You know the classic Pixar movie. The movie, so I thought it was a really cool touch, and I thought it was a really cool song. It's actually my favorite song off that record, and uh, it's the um, it's actually the ninth track on the album, um, and it's my number nine, and it's really cool. And check out that song. Number eight is a song called Flatline, and Flatline came off of Great Heights and Nosedives. Uh, Flatline is about like you know. You know, you don't want to wake up in, in your 40s or your 50s or whatever and think that you've wasted a ton of your time because, you know, you can always make more money, but you're never going to get more time. You know, everyone's time is limited and stuff like that. But again, these are my interpretations and everyone has their own. So uh, number seven is a, a song called Open Water. It's about caring about the environment and the planet and, and stuff like that. It's really cool. I, I love the message. It's a really good song. It's a you know amazing opening um, as Rome is typically known for. Um, so yeah, Open Water is another good song at number seven. Number six is a song called Goodbyes, and Goodbyes is at number six, and it's my favorite opening to any Rome song. It's an amazing opening riff. It's a it's a great great song. It's really catchy and it's really like you know pulse pounding, high intensity energy all the way through, man. It's it's so awesome. All right, so number five. Now number five is a very special song to me. It's called Bloodline, and I think the song is about basically like you know drug abuse and like addiction and stuff like that. And again, I could be wrong. It could be about a breakup, like you know most songs are. But it's a really important song to me because the middle of the song is my second favorite uh, uh, part of a song uh, in Rome, Rome, Rome's discography. So Bloodline is an amazing song, and you gotta. Check it out. <laughs> All right, so coming in at number four. Number four is a song called Nothing in Return, but I choose the acoustic version. Nothing in Return Acoustic is a very good song, and uh, the regular full band version is very good as well, but I, I like the acoustic just a tiny bit more, which is rare for me because usually I like the full band version a lot more. So it's another good song, and that song, that song came off of... 
uh, Head Down, their sec uh, yeah, their second EP. And then, you know, Goodbyes and Bloodline, they came off their first album, Backbone. So uh, number three, um, number three is a, band, it's a song called Warning Sign. Don't need another warning sign. Tell me that I'm doing fine. You know, I could, I could have just butchered that, but anyway, it's another very good song. Um, there's a really cool, you know, correct me if I'm wrong. I, I'll, I will own up to my mistake, but in my, it just seems like a breakdown near the bridge, and it's like it's, I, it's a really good part of the song. And the bridge is really, really good. I really enjoy it. I mean, it's probably not a breakdown, but I mean, I really like it. It's really good. So check out that song, Warning Side. The music video is really fun because they're having a good time and playing the song at the same time. So uh, number two is Head Rush. Um, so the number top, top two now, the number two song is Head Rush. And that song is really good because, um, you know, again, the middle of the song is really, really, really good. And it's really fun to play. Uh, will not play. It's really fun to listen to. The music video is like a small house show that they did. It was really cool. It was a really cool song. I know I keep saying that over and over again. So, uh, yeah, Warning Sign was from their third EP, Viewpoint. And then Head Rush was originally from their second EP, Head Down. But then they did like a updated version on their first album, Backbone. So Head Rush is definitely a great song you got to check out. And a song that you might not be able to find unless you do what I said and go, uh, I think this is their YouTube channel. And they, um, they have um, No Common Ground, which was their first EP that wasn't really released into a lot of places. But there's, a, there's like a one minute instrumental song called Brome, like B-R-O-A-M. And it's basically just like a one minute instrumental. And that's my favorite. That's uh, number one on the list. It's a really good song. You know, I can't really explain it. You just got to check it out. You got to take my word for it. Go listen to Rome. Show them some love. Go follow them on Twitter. Follow Alex Adam on Twitter. He is hilarious. Um, he's really cool. Um, the whole band is really cool. And uh, yeah, so that is my top 10 list. And one more thing before I go. What was really cool about when they recorded Smile Wide, this album, you know, with the, the big piranha on the, the front and the track list on the back, was they actually they they recorded with this producer who was who's done a lot of work with like punk scene and alternative rock and they they recorded it at like a ranch in Texas and now they're from the UK so they they were recording at a ranch in Texas I thought that was really cool and then they had like a trailer where they slept and, and they had like an outhouse and an outdoor shower and they had dogs and they, they lit off fireworks and they you know they they, you know, they messed around, they drank, they smoked. I mean, it was, you know, it was just a fun, in, cool time. And, you know, they said during the documentary video, I recommend watching the documentary video, I think they said, they was like, oh, well, you never know if your this album's going to be your last one. And it was their last one, so it was unfortunate. But they provided all of their fans and me with a lot of um, fond memories and uplifting melodies and tunes to make your darkest days a little brighter. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed that little history lesson on Rome. I really enjoyed making it. This won't be a regular thing. I'm not going to make regular videos about music, um, but um, I wanted to make it because it was in my mind, and it was a really good idea in my opinion. So if you liked the video, I want you to tap that like button. And if you didn't like the video, if you didn't like my face, my topic, or my bright shirt, just remember to smash that dislike button. It gives me a chance to improve, make better content, make more content, and then just get better overall with what I'm doing. Hit that subscribe button, it's free, and that notification bell, it might work, it might not. I would love to hear what you have to say in the comment section down below, down below. Have a great rest of the day, I'll see you next time.